Hello, and welcome back to Dino Detects. Today, I'm going to be in the, um, what I call the dagger field. It's, a, it's shaped like a dagger, basically and simply. I'm, uh, I've put the Nel Tornado back onto uh, to old uh, bit the beast, the Max. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit this field, see what I can find really. Um, that's about it. Oh, don't forget to check out my live streams every 10 o'clock on a Sunday. Woo see you there. Otherwise, um, move to the fields. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot, I'll be testing out the gloves I won from Geeky Bleeps. Thanks, Sam and Lucy. Woo they are very warm. Okay, first thing out of there was about a late 50s, early 60s ish. And there it is. Um, I guess most people know what that is. Um, yep, it's kind of a umbrella slide, I think they call them. Here we go. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, very quickly, first impression of uh, these gloves. They're, they're lovely, really warm, good solid gloves. Um, it's just the tip, the fingertips. They're, they're just a bit too clumsy. I do like the... Um, the other type of gloves, which are easier. Anyway, you know, anyway, there you go. Oh, it's only the first couple of rolls. Yeah, let's see how they get on. Moving on. Well, yes, um, not many signals since, uh, since I, there's the car, look. <laughs> since I walked from the car, uh, but this one was a bit interesting. Really? How interesting. 76, I was thinking, uh, I've just found a, a can on the surface, a squished Fanta can. I thought, oh, another can, bit deeper. Well, I was pleasantly surprised, glad I dug it. It's getting crap out of the field anyway. So, uh, let me show you what it is. It's, it's a bit weird. There it is. How cool is that? It's um, you know, obviously a, uh, a stake or marker of, of some kind. I don't know whether it's to do with old electric fences or I don't know. Pretty cool, but um, yeah, it says Vorcel or something. Hold on. Well, there you go and I've cleaned it up. It's uh, it's Wolseley. Well, I'm pretty sure they made cars. So maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it was a, um, they had a car show here. <laughs> and this was where the Wolseley stand was. <laughs> now I can find, if I find any Wolseley cars or an example of uh, that name, I shall, uh, ooh. yeah, I'll show them. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something a little different, eh? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Tree, tree, tree. Now you recognise the next signal. Um, it was a spot on, really strong 60 signal. Really? On the AT Max uh, with an old tornado coil. How interesting. Um, and it's exactly the same signal as the last hammered coin I got out of two fields up. Exactly the same, same soil, same everything. So you think you've got to dig these, haven't you? Let me show you what it is. It's right down here. It's in this lump. Oh, I think you can already see it. Yeah. This is why you've got to dig them. Because that, mm. it, which is a moo tube, of course, is exactly the same signal as a Edward the... Uh, Ed, well, it was Ed, Eddie Penny it was that I had last one out. Edward the first one penny hammered coin. So there you go. You've got to dig these things. Otherwise, you won't find the good stuff. Hey, eh? uh, we talk about the... Uh, Trash to treasure ratio. There is one. You got, you've got to dig some trash to get treasure. Anyway, I'll shut up moaning and moaning. Mm, just going on, really. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, next signal is in here. You can see it just there, I think. And it was a 60, uh, 61, 62. So I think it's a moo tube in here somewhere. I don't know, though. Is that, is that it there? I think it, oh, it might not even be a full one. Oh God, oh, a squished one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, no, that's a pretty squished one. Another move to bugger it. Anyway, uh, not a hammer. Moving on. And another More one. Annoying. Bloody things. Moving on. Well, here we have beautiful 881. Finally, a decent target or signal or whatever you like to call it. Let's see what it is, shall we? Ooh, moving to the thing. Okay, I have got the clod out. It's there. Somewhere. Oh, <laughs> look at that fella. 
Blimey, Riley. So that is uh, rather a large flare gun cartridge base. Um, big old, uh, I'll measure it, but it looks, uh, it might be inch and a half, 1.5 inch flare cart base. Ooh, see if there's anything. Uh, sometimes ever make his name. But uh, that's a bit of brass anyway. Oh, nice one. Look at that. A bit of military, World War II era. Moving on. Well, next signal is something I haven't had for a while. Well, I'm not on the cutlery field, am I? Oh, I might have given it away. Anyway, <laughs> I show where it is. It was about a mid 50s, um, but quite a good tone. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd dig it. I've dug it. I'll show you what it is. Okay, it's down here. Right there. And oh, I reckon I'm going for a spoon and it is a spoon <laughs> ah god yeah one copper spoon probably one silver plated or whatever or nickel silver plated whatever there you go one spoon to add to the cutlery pot found his spoon sir well done sergeant <laughs> we found the spoon sir i don't know <laughs> anyway moving on or moving to the cutlery drawer Another one, bloody things, beautiful signal, got to dig them, as I say. But anyway, never mind, moving on. And another bloody moo tube, an old flat crap one. you got to dig them, I'm telling you, moving on. Could be worse. Next signal was skitting about 60s, 70s, 80s, finally settled down to about mid 70s, etc. Um, didn't suggest it was iron, but these things don't really, especially, well, same as uh, a deep horseshoes. Get a weird signal. Anyway, I'll show you what I found. Love them, these. I love them. There it is, look. Obviously a little bit of square nail, because uh, there was signs of burning in this rather square hole. But there it is, one uh, very old. Um, it's one of the early ox shoes, that because they kind of, uh, they weren't, I, I don't think at first they were sure how to make them and what to make them out well, you know what I mean, anyway, so that you can tell, big, that big fat nail, um, yeah, so there'll be two of those, like mirrored pair, because obviously um, oxen are cloven, but there you go, love it, <laughs> one ox shoe, pre-1800, so you think, you know, uh, they only started to die out when horses became popular for ploughing, I love these, these are brilliant, Excellent piece of history there in my hand under the earth. Probably about, that was about 12 inch down. So yeah, this field was once worked. It's now pasture, there you go. Anyway, um, I'll stop nattering on and uh, moving on. Well, the next signal is a little bit weird. There it is, look. It's, uh, I think it's got a bit of patterning across the top. I'm pretty sure it's bronze. I don't know. God knows. I hate with these little pieces, you just can't tell, can you? Ah, oh, dear. Oh well. Uh, moving on. Well, the next single was a beautiful 77, 78, and I got all excited. Um, well, I'll show you what it is. See if I'm justified in my excitement. Yeah, it's there. Oh, what can this be? They wonder. Well, they, oh, my God. <laughs> it's not even a full one. <laughs> Did I chop it in half? I don't think so. Yeah, there is half of a um, one and a half inch flare case. Um, flare base, whatever you like to call it. <laughs> anyway, moving to the brass bin. Weirdo. <sighs> Just listen to that. Peaceful, isn't it? It's one of the things, one of the reasons I do it is just this. It's amazing. Anyway. Um, next signal is a, uh, was about a seven, mid 70s and um, I've probably gone about half a mile with nothing decent. It's just nothing in these, you know, I'm, I'm not picking the right spots, I guess. That's all it is. Um, yeah, is it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what this one is. So it popped up there. I'm pretty sure it's a, yep, it's a knob. I think that's a uh, tractor knob. Probably the choke. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's brass. 
it's there, it's mine. There was a bit of iron in it, I guess. Yeah, that's what the grunt was. So there you go, next signal, one knob. Ah, yeah, one knob. Ooh, it's like me knob. Don't keep saying that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just enjoying this uh, tranquility, I, I suppose you could call it. It's lovely. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Well, this could be something. Let's hope it is. Mm. Oh, I think I was picking up my spade. Anyway, let's see what it is, shall we? Well, this is a, as I said, you already showed, showed the video. You saw, saw the VDI, didn't you? Um, hopefully, this is what I think it is. Come on, let's save the hunt with something something nice. Because I ain't got much time left. Oh, we need some good stuff, don't we? Anyway, I'll show you what it is. <laughs> hey. Flip the clod, and there it appeared. Pretty sure it's a coin. Oh, oh, oh that feels light. Hmm. That feels very light. Like it's a oh, very round. It's a one second. Let me give it a clean up. Well, woohoo! I've had a bit of a clean up, and you can see old George the Third there. Um. There's Britannia, picked out 1806, I think it is. So yes, got a coin, woohoo! Ah, it's not been a great day, but there you go. So yeah, George III, 1806 Hapney. Antiques? What the f do we know about antiques? We rob post offices, steal cars. Not the most amazing of coins, but it's a coin, woohoo! And it's George III, woohoo again. <laughs> anyway, not exactly moving to the bank, but um, Moving on! Ooh! See what this is. Probably deep iron, but hey, let's find out, shall we? Hey! <laughs> well, that was a 76. Lovely signal. Um, what do you think it was? Have a guess. Go on. You'll not. <laughs> or will you? Who knows? I'll show you. It is a da -da 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 bloody moo tube. It's one of them larger ones, gives a bigger signal. Moo. Bugger! Oh dear. Anyway, oh well. Moving on. Well, there's a 73 in here somewhere. <laughs> and it's one of those um, old cork ball top. God, Jesus. Brilliant. Hey, woohoo! Moving on! Just having a quick break halfway to the car from the top of this field here, you can see right there, um, all the way down to here, and all I had was that little bottle top. Sometimes this is how it is, isn't it? You know, you just don't find anything. Um, there'll be plenty in this field because it's massive, but um, yes, I haven't walked over it today. Boo! Anyway, um, as they say, as I say, as anybody would say, move into the car. How'd you get a messenger on it? Here it is. Man, <laughs> um, yeah, Rob, that's just uh, Dave. That. What? What? Fuck me! me! <laughs> well, this could be the last signal. Um, lovely loud 60 mid, mid 60. Yeah, uh, it's probably a moo tube. Let's see if it is, shall we? <laughs> well, it's in here somewhere. Where are you? Ah, there you are. And you're not even a moo tube. 
you're a bottle top. Oh, God. Hey, it's way to finish. Bloody hell. I think that'll do for me. Um, whew, what a day. That's how it is, really, isn't it? I did ask the uh, landowner this morning if uh, if there are any uh, ploughed fields that I could go on that were ready. He said not till March. So, them's the brakes, I guess. My eyes are dim. I cannot see. Are you Matthias? Um, yeah, so... Last, last signal, last find, bloody bottle top. Uh, but I got a George III, didn't I? Oh, school, school. On half holes, is it? Yeah, I bet you can't wait to get back and get that bat in your hand and give those balls a good walloping, eh? <laughs> and, um, yeah, and, and a knob. Don't keep saying that. <laughs> oh, no, I had a good laugh. Uh, well, just me and myself, but there you go. Can't get better than that, can you? Um, yeah. Soaked up the atmosphere of nature, and uh, yeah, and there you go. So, uh, yeah, if I don't find anything between here and the car, which is down there, um, yeah, do take care, stay safe, be lucky, um, good looking, happy hunting next time you're out, um, and I will catch you on the next. Uh, I will also catch you in the kitchen. So, uh, move to the roundup. Oh, I did forget to say, I love these gloves. They're really warm, very, uh, very good. I thought just it's just the tip, it's the fingertips. That's why I wear the uh, the, the sort of standard rubber workman's gloves, working gloves to uh, to do most stuff. That just I just get more feel for them. But uh, what I might do is adjust these with a pair underneath, because that'd be good. Uh, let's see. Anyway, that's for another video. Hey, <laughs> I'll shut up now. Let's get to the kitchen. Welcome to the Roundup Kitchen. Kitchen Roundup, wherever it is. Anyway, uh, let's not mess about and I'll show you what I found. Hey, hey. Okay, so there it is. Um, three odd hours hunting and I found all that. So, let's have a look, shall we? Um, <laughs> can tango, foil, can top, uh, aluminium ring, blobs, that's, that's uh, blobs actually, it's quite nice. Well, we'll be sure the bronze bin. Um, bottle tops, bit of pipe, some little bits of nothing. A couple of little bits of nothing, it's a blob. Nothing. Anyway, on to the, um, other half of the crap. Antiques. <laughs> um, and the insurance is... A spoon. One of those uh, Victorian umbrella sliders. This, which I still have no idea what it is. It's, it is old, really old. You can tell it's the patina. It's bronze and it feels nice and smooth. But it's a chip off something that I don't know. If you know, give it a shout. Really? How interesting. Yeah, there you go. Um, big old Wolseley thingamajig. Um, I'll probably put something in the video about that. Really? How interesting. Oops, drop me knob. My knob. Tree, tree, tree. I don't know. Could be door, could be vehicle. Who knows? Uh, there you go. Could be, could be a Wolseley knob. <laughs> Couple of ring pulls. This is interesting because it says on it, oh, you have to go in the light. There you go. Tomato juice cocktail or tomato jew cocktail. Omato juke, I don't know. There you go. Probably a bit of, uh, I don't know, early 20th century pottery or something. Um, yeah, two, uh, oops, well, one and a half um, flare cartridges. One and a half. One and a half inch flare cartridges. <laughs> I'll come to that later. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight moo tubes. Uh, one's a larger one. Ooh, cool. There you go. Ooh, feast your eyes upon them. Um, <laughs> this little bit of flint I thought was cool because it looks like a dinosaur look. Yeah, doesn't it? Rah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, big blob of iron should be at the top, but never mind. Hey, ox cue. I very rarely uh, go out without finding one of these. Well, I do actually, but that's a good one. That's an early one because it's uh, it's simple with a big fat headed nail in it. Yeah, so there you go. That's all that. And then uh, the only saving grace of this hunt, there's some quite cool stuff, is this. Uh, one second, let me get it some good light. George III, 1800, it was 1806. Um, Hapney, there you can see Britannia. I've given it a bit of a clean up and uh, a bit of Renaissance action. So yeah, looks, she looks pretty good. Uh, looks more like somebody down the gym than uh, Britannia, but there you go. You can just see Britannia, the words, the lettering that is. 
yeah that's nice that's uh, good to good to the old collection yeah as, as somebody said well a couple of hundred years old isn't it it is so that is that's nice that is so there you go that is it Oof. What a day. Did I miss anything out? I can't remember. I've probably put some clips in about some of these things in there. I don't know. Have I? Who knows? <laughs> so that's it. Not an amazingly successful hunt, but I had a good day. Um, the weather was nice. Yeah, fines were all right. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it quick. So thanks for joining me. Look forward to your comments on this one. <sighs> I can't promise you the next hunt will be any better because this is sometimes how it is. I still had a good day. I'm um, just looking at the finds there. <laughs> I definitely did. Um, yeah, so do take care, stay safe, be lucky. Um, don't forget to fill your rolls, wear gloves, all that good stuff, follow the rules, and I will catch you on the next. Bye for now.